Hello, I'm Nick Rogers, a geotechnical engineer with Tonkin and Taylor. Tonkin and Taylor have been assessing and mapping the damage in the Canterbury area since last year's 4th of September 7.1 magnitude earthquake. What started that day was a sequence of damaging quakes which have caused severe damage in parts of Canterbury, in particular the eastern suburbs of Christchurch. The 6.3 magnitude earthquake of the 22nd of February this year caused about 10 times more damage than last year's initial earthquake. It has left some land so badly damaged it's unlikely to be able to be rebuilt on for some considerable time. We are still experiencing damaging aftershocks, most recently the 5.7 and 6.3 magnitude ones on the 13th of June. Tonkin and Taylor is looking at individual residential damage for the Earthquake Commission, the UQC, to inform insurance payouts. And we're looking at area-wide residential land damage to inform government decisions on rebuilding Canterbury. This earthquake sequence has damaged infrastructure so badly in some places there are limited or no services. That is, some water and wastewater pipes, electricity and gas supply lines and roads can't be repaired within a reasonable time. The people of Canterbury are living with some of the worst earthquake damage seen anywhere in the world. Everyone concerned in the recovery has pulled out all stops to get information to you. To assist both government decision making and people's understanding of what has happened to their land, Tonkin and Taylor has put properties into zones. Green for areas where repairs and rebuilds can get underway. Red for the land that is so badly damaged it's unlikely it will be able to be rebuilt on for some considerable time. Orange for areas that are still being assessed and we need further information. And white where mapping is still underway, such as the Port Hills, which suffered further extensive damage in the 13th of June aftershocks. You can find out what your property has been mapped as and some further explanations about these zones on the special Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority website www.landcheck.org.nz That's www.landcheck.org.nz I'm in Bexley to talk about the red zone. In the red zone, the land has sunk in places by up to 1.5 metres. The land has also cracked and spread, several metres in some cases. And it is liquefied, virtually turning to liquid, resulting in uneven settlement before settling back to a solid state. The ground settlement has caused building foundations to warp or twist, and some parts of houses to drop or break away, making them uninhabitable. Tonkin and Taylor has looked at all the properties in the red zone. As geotechnical engineers, we have not seen damage as bad or as widely spread as this from any other event in New Zealand in the 40 years we have been assessing earthquake damage for EQC. The difference between this land on the 3rd of September 2010 and now is that it is so damaged it is prone to even more hazards. It has settled and spread so much that even earthquakes that are considered low level and wouldn't ordinarily damage land cause more damage to this land. The ground in many places has lost its capacity to support house foundations and the buildings above, underground shaking. Repairing this land would take some considerable time. Then all you would have is a subdivision of bare land that may be ready for rebuilding. This land needs to be cleared completely. That means everything familiar to residents here removed or demolished. Then the land needs to be filled and raised up to three metres and compacted. Even then, for rebuilding, the land would have to be strengthened with perimeter treatment works to mitigate lateral spreading and future earthquakes. This requires massive earthworks to put stone columns underneath the ground. Christchurch residents have coined the word munted to describe this land, and that pretty well says it all. After reviewing all the information given by Tonkin and Taylor, which draws on many other experts in science and engineering, the government has decided to offer people the option to get out now. For more information on the process, you can call the Government Helpline on 0800 779 997 or go to the special Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority website www.landcheck.org.nz That's www.landcheck.org.nz Further information is also available on the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority's website www.cera.govt.nz That's www.cera.govt.nz